Well, the United Soybean Board elects new leadership each year to represent producers across the country. And serving in his eighth year on the board, Seabury, Kentucky farmer Keith Tapp has been elected chair. And he joins us now to discuss his new role and priorities for the year ahead. Keith, first of all, congratulations on your new role. Uh, how does it feel to be elected chairman? Uh, Janet, it's very humbling, but it's quite an honor to serve and exciting time to be a you know part of the promising future for U.S. soy. Just glad to be here. Thank you. Now, for those folks who aren't familiar with the work of the soy checkoff, what exactly would you like to share share with them about the priorities? Well, as you know, the checkoff exists to maximize profit opportunities for all U.S. soybean farmers. And with that farmer profitability in mind, the checkoff makes key investments in areas where U.S. soybean farmers have the biggest opportunity to differentiate their product and impact the farmer's bottom lines. And those areas, of course, are dealing with meal, oil, and sustainability. And if you think about it, each day we all come in contact with soy from uh, our fuel to the tires that get us to work or paint on the wall, carpet on the ground. I mean, soy is just everywhere. Uh, Keith, what do you think is, or what would you describe as maybe top of the agenda for the checkoff to work on in the year ahead? Well, we're looking on a uh, looking at a lot of great things, and a lot of things are being developed and coming down the pop pipeline. We're engaged in partnerships with soy across the industry that makes farmers' dollars go further to improve their market access and strengthen key channels to sell the products. We have increased priority for new markets and for our products such as high oleic soybean oil as an environmentally friendly alternative lubricant in industrial manufacturing. And we're just investing wisely in profit opportunities that include pushing for new revenue streams to be created and existing markets expanded or reviewed in new exciting ways that can open demand and drive sales for our soybeans. And if you want to learn more, just check out our website at unitedsoybean.org. Now, Keith, before we wrap things up, we're, of course, slowly inching towards springtime. Tim had a map pulled up earlier showing some of the precipitation across the countryside. How are things in your area of Seabury, Kentucky? You know, we have been very wet all winter long, and we're very cold now. We had snow just a trace a couple of days ago, and it's still, you know, lingering around. That's how cold it is right here now. All right. Well, spring will be here before you know it. We'll keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> Thank you very much again, Tucky, with the newly elected board chair of the United Soybean Board, Keith Tapp, on the phone with us, as we said, from Seabree, Kentucky this morning.